And I would note there were three banks that failed uh, in those handful of days, those, last, those four or five days. And two of those banks, the first and the third that failed, Silvergate and uh, Signature, were engaged in the crypto business. I mean, some would say they were you know, crypto banks. And the third, the biggest, Silicon Valley Bank, actually when it failed, you saw this country's, the world's second leading stable coin uh, had $3 billion involved there, DPEG. So it's interesting just how this was all Thank, had some crypto thank you. narrative as well. In my time. All right. As you guys can see, this Gary Gensler, you know, homie over here that we have, this guy is making the statement banks failed because of cryptocurrencies. They were considered crypto banks. They were, you know, working with crypto companies. And look, ha ha ha, look at this. Cryptocurrency is so bad. Whoa, 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 whoa. Number one, you are no longer part of the SEC. Um, obviously, that was not the case at that time of the recording. But this really goes to show, guys, where the cryptocurrency market really is headed. You know, these regulators, they are going to do everything it takes, literally everything it takes to stop crypto from evolving. And that's what we have seen with XRP as such a perfect, perfect example. You know, he obviously he was part of the SEC and he has been dismissed, which has been causing a lot of, uh, you know, positive, uh, you know, excitement news around the crypto space itself, not just XRP as a whole, the crypto space industry itself. So now comes the question, where is XRP going? We're going to talk about XRP, but just wanted to make a statement about this guy. This should give us a better understanding about what these guys are trying to brainwash the overall, you know, entire population. You know, they're trying to make cryptocurrencies look bad, but all of a sudden, you know, when you really start thinking about, hey, hold on. So all the money that I wake my butt off for and work my butt off to put, you know, food on the table. But, you know, as soon as these banks that he is specifically referring to go poof, you know, out the window, you know, bankrupt, guess what happens? The feds, on the other hand, say, no problem, I'm going to come and support you. And they come and whoever, uh, you know, the people that banks owe the money to, they come and pay those people out. And how does that happen? Now, you may be saying that happens by printing more money. Now, you may be saying, who cares? Let them print the money. But doesn't that beg the question? What the heck am I working so hard for if it's so easy for them to print money and uh, over time, guess what happens to the U.S. dollar or currency in the world, any monetary currency? The more you print it, the more the value drops. And that's what they don't tell you. You will never, ever hear them say that to you. And that's just pure comedy. But now if we're looking at the price of XRP, you guys can see it is currently trading at 47 cents. We're down about 5.3% in the last 24 hours in USD comparative. We're also down about 1.4% in Bitcoin comparative over the last 24 hours. Looking at XRP's market cap currently sitting at $24.3 billion and the 24-hour trading volume currently sitting at $1.6 billion. Um, you guys can see the reason as to why we are seeing a little bit of a cool-off happening within the price of XRP along with the entire market is because Bitcoin is seeing a cool-off, which again is totally totally okay it deserves a cool off it has had a tremendous amount of run and we do need to see btc obviously cool off before we do see continuation upwards trend but now before examining the price of xrp as always just a quick disclaimer anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto so for looking at the price of xrp 47.12 cents is the current price and we are being supported by the march uh, 21st wick along with a lot of support built up uh, from the previous post cycle along with the consolidation phase you guys can see we are being supported by uh, that consolidation phase mainly and that's exactly where we are seeing the price hold currently right now so now comes the question 
what are some next price targets we could be looking at in the immediate short term for XRP? So, you know, before we even get into that, you know, this brings to my question. I never really pointed that out for you guys, but, you know, this move that we really saw happen uh, back on March, late March, was that move really because Gary Gensler was being dismissed as an SEC or maybe like some news that were to come out uh, that, you know, didn't make the public sound, but maybe someone that knew that he was potentially going to get let go, knew the news and knew that this could impact, uh, you know, XRP in a positive way. Because again, he works for SEC and obviously he had so much negative things to say about XRP over this lawsuit. So obviously that could uh, be why we saw this massive spike towards the upside and despite that fact we have seen xrp hold really really strong which is a huge huge positive thing that i want you guys to keep in mind again xrp is holding really really strong right now we are being supported by this range but with that said if bitcoin were to see more downwards trend you know, more downwards pressure which again i would be totally okay with but right now bitcoin is being popped back up very quickly uh you know if bitcoin goes above that level of resistance i'd be you know more than you know happy but even if bitcoin were to even retest the 61.8 support at 27,000, I am totally okay with that, which could obviously impact the price of XRP. We could potentially see some price targets. Um, you know, if obviously this 46.36 cents level of support does not hold, we could see 45 cents, potentially even 44 cents come about. And that is again totally, totally okay. If you like XRP, you want to be picking some cheap XRP and you were kicking yourself when it was absolutely going crazy uh, early, late March, guess what? There's opportunity right in front of you right now. So uh, take, um, you know, obviously advantage of that but always invest what you can afford to lose but dollar cost averaging in when things are on the downwards trend is a positive thing to take away so you know hopefully this lawsuit were to come to an end soon you know regardless of a uh, cool off happening or not you know xrp is hitting an all-time high and no one can stop that um but you know i just wanted to uh, make this update for you guys to kind of let you guys know what exactly is happening with the price of xrp right now uh, obviously the positive thing for xrp is to obviously get above this level of resistance above that 50 cents mark which i think would not be a problem we've seen xrp show its strength to us and um that is the current analysis that i have for xrp but i just wanted to you know kind of have a good laugh uh to see like you know how these regulators really talk about crypto when they you know kind of just forget about the real world part and how they operate so it's really funny and uh you know just wanted to share that with you guys but i would love to know your thoughts down below love you all see you tomorrow with crypto